this is this is weird. This next bit's kind of strange. Um, because I, I did I miss this and it actually happened, or are they bragging about something that didn't, or uh, or is this in reference to something else? Well, I'll show you what I mean. Um, this is uh, this is on Bannon's war room, and let me bring this up here. Um, and this is uh, Matt Gates. And and uh, double bobes describe how they seized the floor of the House of Representatives. Now, the only thing I can think of is that they they want credit for um, uh, holding McCarthy hostage for a little while. I guess we may not watch all of this, but we're going to watch that argument. Republican we'll revolts on the House floor were. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's what lawmakers have failed to adopt a procedural rule for several bills. The dust up was led by members of the Freedom Caucus. Joining me now is NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ali Vitale. So last. Okay. First of all, you're playing other people's clips. Um, oh, God. Um, hey, 6 June in the year of our Lord 2023, the 79th anniversary of the beginning of uh, the Battle of Normandy. Uh, yeah, and it's basically the same. Battle of Normandy, Matt Gates and Lauren Boebert dicking around, holding up bills in the Congress. That's basically the same. I mean, they both got shrapnel. Um, in the Battle of Overlord with the landing of D-Day, we're going to have uh, Congressman Self here. We're going to talk about point to hawk at the bottom of the hour. But right now, there is a revolt. Uh, Matt Gates. We've got a couple of revolting people with us right here. Gates and Lauren Boebert. Uh, Two of our favorite revolting people. Matt Gates from Florida, Lauren Bober from Colorado. Uh, who you all thought was slightly bigger, but looked like she's shrinking since her divorce. About as dramatic as you possibly get. You guys seize control of the floor of the House of Representatives today. Tell us uh -huh. about that. They seized control of the House floor today. They seized it. There was nothing, nothing went through. None shall pass. And we all heard about it. Uh... It, uh, no, we didn't. It was buried right along with the story of aliens. It hasn't happened in 21 years. And, uh, you know, we... And yes. Remember that time when the thing happened with the 21 years we ago? We are very upset about how the debt limit deal came together. Oh, go very upset about it. Kevin McCarthy exceeded the authority that he had been given by the House of Representatives. I do give him, make him speak over the House, and then he let him, and then he's speaking. Why to let him say things? When we learned that it was Kevin McCarthy who gave away an additional oh, no. year mm -hmm. to ice oh, in no. the agenda of the Biden uh, regime. Oh, the terrible. He gave him a whole year? And no, I never have a birthday or, or give a cake or nothing. We were deeply, deeply frustrated about that. Very deeply. Deeply, deeply, deeply. He dimple, dimple frustrated. Yeah. Uh, and then... And there, no cap. There were, the cap off. Yeah, and then there were misrepresentations about the bill. Oh. Like, it, it puts oh. us in an awkward situation with our... Yeah, I hate to be an awkward position where you got... Both of you obviously have full diaper and nowhere to go. Colleagues who we like and care about, who we want to see reelected... But then you hate them, like you want you want to uh, steal their strawberries. When McCarthy has them go out and say things like, there's this great regulatory reform in the bill. And then, of course, we point out it's all waivable by the Biden budget director. And then oh. that's, that becomes very uncomfortable. What the waivable is fine. I'll buy wave. Hello. I have big old hands. And Donald Trump, look how big my hands are. I'm, I have a pituitary disorder. But I think I have a future. I could palm a basketball. I'm only four years old. And that happened time and again on this debt limit bill. I mean, on permitting, oh no. on, on, well, on, the permitting on, was on just your a, work was, requirements. You sat right here and told us a trillion dollars of work. That terrible work requirements yeah, six weeks ago. When, right. when they were done with the work requirements on the SNAP program, they expanded uh, SNAP. I, I'm sure. Oh, no. SNAP. Oh, they, they expanded. I expanded SNAP. Look how big my hands are. I have gigantic hands for a little boy. Um, Glad they didn't do work requirements on Medicaid. We, it would have been Medicaid expansion. We had EJ. Oh, no, not Medicaid expansion. Yeah, we had EJ and Tony. I had Band-Aid expansion once because it was on my knee, and I was running on a scrape, and it and Band-Aid popped off and it expanded. Tony here said yesterday they just technically made a mistake, and when they found out about it, they were told about it by other House staffers. They were, they were too embarrassed to go back and try to fight for it. Well, but that's why I do everything in 
Don't do it in pen on crayon because the crayons, you can't use an eraser. I found out the hard way. It, it was a circumstance where the Biden negotiating team, frankly, played the House negotiating team. And oh, that's terrible. To get played by an old man who can't find his pants. And he doesn't know where he is. And he doesn't know what he's doing. Can't say a whole sentence. He talks like a three-year-old. And yet he kicked your butt. That's embarrassing. I would keep that to myself. I would not tell anybody. Took their lunch money. Look, Lawrence O'Donnell. Don't, oh, take his lunch money. That's not good. Especially when you, you like, your eighth grader and a third grader takes your lunch money. Because I got big hands. I could take your lunch money. I'm just saying. I'm like the worst, like, teeny bully in the whole world. I could totally take your lunch money. Even I've, I've taken lunch money from a, a university student. He was like, boy, kid, you got big hands. And I was like, yeah, I do. Better fill them with some money or you're going to get a sucker stuck to your forehead. Did almost an hour last night on a show and they came on MSNBC today, the market. They, they had the negotiators on last night. We're going to play cuts mm -hmm. tomorrow. We couldn't do it for D because they had D-Day today. Yeah, that, you that can't play cuts on D-Day. That's not right. <laughs> They're literally laughing at the house. But it wasn't just that. It, it wasn't. No, no, we're not just laughing at. We're also high fiving each other and, you know, glad handing. We're a little, honestly, God, there's some full on good thawing, but there's also some sl light snickering all the time. Just the substance of it. And, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we really don't like bullies. And we don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, I, I've got to tell you, you, you have bully face. Now, I know that people don't feel bullied by you because you can't. You got it because as my grandpa used to say, you look like a guy who writes, lets his mouth write checks, his butt can't cash. And so nobody really scaled. You could like bully people and they just start laughing. They like, I peed a little when you said you were, you, that, you know, so that's why you, you got bully face, but nobody bully get bullied. I don't like when people get picked on. And that's why I don't like it when people get picked on either. Especially when somebody make fun of like a lady wearing a hat and like, oh, her lipstick's too red. She looks weird. Why? Do you, how many American flags do you need? Overcompensate much? Like well, that's not right. If you wanna, if you wanna see Lauren and I get pretty animated, go. <laughs> um, I'm not convinced they're not animated characters. Honestly, right now, I I gotta be completely honest. I'm I am not convinced that both of these aren't these idiots aren't. <laughs> CGI pick on one of our colleagues and when they you were just picking on your colleagues you, colleagues you dipshit pulled Andrew's bill on the pistol braces Andrew Clyde's Andrew bill Clyde. uh, we would we were not going to tolerate that the era of the imperial speakership is over and they don't it's over bro they don't get to dole out punishment to us and then expect that we're going to continue their failure theater I'm done with their failure theater Yes, you're done with their failure theater. You're going to break away and start your own failure theater. Take it on the road. Talk to us about this, about how important is that pistol? Say something, woman person. Pistol brace and, and, and trading away people's constitutional rights, your, your constituents' constitutional rights. How's that set with folks back in your district? Well, certainly the bill itself is important, but we aren't going to allow this bill to be a leveraging point for leadership to punish members of Congress. We fought very hard back in January to make sure that every member is empowered and that we could bring bills to the floor. We could bring legislation to the floor. We could amend that legislation. And Well, they, did, they brought it to the floor. It just didn't come up for a vote because it didn't warrant it. You can, yeah, yeah, put it in your little briefcase. Bring it in your little satchel. Shit, D download it onto your uh, your phone and bring. you can bring it to the floor. And throughout the debt ceiling deal, this uh, agreement was absolutely breached. Uh, it was a closed rule. We weren't allowed to offer amendments. And now immediately members are being punished. Another member of Congress um, was completely harassed uh, by many of uh, the members of the leadership team on the House floor. Um, one member told she was bum rushed. Yes, yeah, she was. Well, are we certain she wasn't that, was, that wasn't uh consensual Boom river because i mean com com to be completely frank i i have been bum rushed a uh, time or two and uh, i don't really regret it shorts and bend over much of a bar 
I mean, you know, uh, Congresswoman Harshbarger took the right vote. Uh, she's Harshbarger a, of Tennessee. Of Tennessee. Yes. She did it. She's Harshbarger of Tennessee. How is that not a local ad for an insurance car dealership and uh, Notary Republic all in one? Come on down. Harshbarger of Tennessee. We got toys for the kids. They make sure they got their tetanus shots. Okay. Harshburger of Tennessee. She's a, she's a terrific congresswoman. And she's a terrific congresswoman. Harshburger of Tennessee. She thinks through things very thoroughly, and she mm -hmm. does a great job for her state mm -hmm. and for her district. And when she didn't toe the line on mm -hmm. leadership, they bum rushed her. They did. And they Drop your shorts and bend over, Mr. Babar. You do not just bum rush someone. Boom River. I don't like Chief. that wanted her chief to harass her to change her vote. Um, someone told her that she would be marked for the rest of her time in Congress, like wearing a tattoo. And and so, yes, the scarlet letter. Uh, by the way, can we, can we all take a break for a second? Yeah, put down what you're doing. Just take a breath and uh, breathe in the wonderful scent of these assholes attacking each other. That's right. They're they're telling a story about how McCarthy's team attacked one of their fellow Republicans on the Congress floor for voting against the way she told them she would vote because she decided at the last minute that she would bring something to the floor and that they would owe her for her vote. She's like, fuck you. You already signed up for this. She's like, nah, I just decided the last minute, y'all. And then they were like, well, and you and I could just sit there just going munch, munch. You know, I mean, this isn't what we fought for. We fought to have a voice for our constituents. And it's been really great for about six months. But and then Steve, what have we done? We've passed messaging bills. Yeah, that was that's what you argued for. You didn't you asked to have votes on bills that have no fucking legs that the Senate Republicans don't want that a good portion of your colleagues don't want many of them will vote for it because they know it's going to die and they get political points but if it was actually going to pass they'd blow it off absolutely and certainly it's never going to be signed by the fucking president you're not doing that's not doing anything for your constituency that's I'll tell you the same shit I said to Ro Khanna and all the the like the progressive caucus in that in the house when they're like well we told the president that we would vote for the debt ceiling bill if they needed our vote, but if they don't, we can't vote for it in good conscience. The fuck are you talking about? That means you would vote for it because you know it's better than the alternative. If you can't vote for it in good conscience, then never offer your fucking vote and explain to everyone how you think the alternative is worthwhile. If, if you don't get what you want, the everybody else has to fucking suffer make that case or shut the fuck up we had an opportunity to actually pass something substantive for our constituents back no you didn't because it would die in the senate and biden's not gonna fucking sign it it's not gonna happen home um for instance the rains act we had that in the limit save grow bill that we passed yeah but the republican senate won't pass it who gives a shit what's in that bill? I mean, what, uh, what do you think the complaints on the, Repu on the Democratic side were when Pelosi was passing shit that couldn't get passed because Republicans had control of the Senate? You, you know how any of this shit works? And why, why do you think, and by the way, these assholes hate Mitch McConnell. They hate him. But at the same time, the reason he was, you know, called like the crypt keeper or the whatever, the, the grave digger or whatever, was because he would kill bills. Like they would pass the House and die in the Senate. He could just guarantee they would never get a vote in the Senate and they weren't going to pass if they did. That was completely forfeited uh, in, in this debt ceiling deal. And now this week they wanted to bring the Reigns Act to the House floor and celebrate that we're going to pass it out of the House when we know it's not going to pass out of the Senate. I'm done with the messaging bills. We had an opportunity to do something last week. And no, if it wouldn't pass out of the Senate, then it would have kept the other bill from passing and so they couldn't add it to the fucking bill. You don't get to tack something on that will kill the bill and then go, we voted for the thing that passed. Whatever. And anyway, she was late. She said she voted against it. Hold on one second. If anybody uh, anybody saw uh, this part. It's a malware called Q-Snatch. Um, let's see. I'm going to find it for you. Um, 
Uh, let's see. I think it's on Twitter. One second. Um, let's see. Bobert runs. Um, Let's see. Um, hold on. Forward. It's just, I, I think it'll probably be in here. One second. Yeah, here you go. Hold on. Oh, God, this is so good. This is so fun. I got to run back to do what's right for my constituents. Let me do, let me do what's right for my constituents. I'm going to get, I'm going to do these, I'm tired of these messaging bills. Yeah. 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 They, yeah, they, yeah, they closed it. It's closed. They, you missed it. <laughs> they closed it. Yes, they did. Um, dumb, dumb. It's so good. It's just. It's so, oh God, yes, yes, they closed it. It's over, it's done. There's no there there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, whoops. Yeah, it, they closed it. And that's when we should have done it. So we took advantage of this procedural rule vote and uh, we, we took it down to prove a point that we aren't going to govern this way. There, and by the way, if yeah, Kevin yeah. McCarthy has decided that his new coalition partner is the Democrats, well, let's see how that works for him. Um, if he does, he'll take a chunk of the conservatives and and work with Democrats to get regular bills passed and pass a shit ton of bipartisan stuff that the Democrats will set up that they know can pass the Senate. It, it wouldn't even take that many. You've got a fucking four seat majority. Didn't work out so well today. We want to be Kevin's coalition partner. We want to be the. No, you don't. Or you wouldn't be trying to shove shit into the bill that will get it killed entity driving are you actually saying that you think that the speaker of the house would actually partner with hakeem jeffries and the radical democrats Wait, to, didn't we see that you last just week? saw that i mean that that, that is it, what, make, you're saying it will become a permanent thing well was he called the way they taught call, that, that's was our concern whip? this is i mean can we not can we, just, can we just enjoy this for what it is oh god first of all the debt ceiling bill passed like i told you it would and secondly look at the just the, oh it's so nice isn't it I mean, come on. And all of them caught totally by surprise today. How did that get pulled off? How do you guys keep that quiet? You know, sometimes uh, the element of surprise is important to deliver the message. And it Me message was delivered. Uh, uh, I think people saw that loud and clear. In this case, um, we had made these points previously. We had expressed our frustration. But there seems to be a lot of muscle memory among some of the leadership staff and some of the leadership kind of deputies that it's going to go back to the old days and the old days well, they are can over. smash you guys yeah, yeah. the old the days are over we're, we're not, not doing pelosi era politics no. <laughs> yeah yeah you are actually yes yes you are no and and we want and, and by the way in one way i guess they're not that's not fair in one way they aren't in that pelosi even when she had uh, you know, difficulty with different factions was able to pull everybody together and unite the party, even when there was, you know, and, and work out stuff the way McCarthy apparently cannot with these dickheads. On to be, we understand that not every member of our conference holds precisely the views that Lauren and I do, right? We, we just don't care. And we, and we may be in the minority, but we think we should control things. It's a very, it is the essence of MAGA. But we understand mm -hmm. that. And we want to engage those folks in sincere discussion about how to move the country forward. I mean, Lauren, Lauren, you probably weren't entirely thrilled with Limit Save Grow, but you voted for right. it out of comedy right. with your colleagues working together. No, out of comedy, out of comedy with the, your own side of the aisle, barely. Because they let you put up these performance bills, which you are now bitching about. As a team, and then for Kevin McCarthy to use Limit Save Grow as a permission slip to just go rogue and it to go rogue, bro. All right, I, 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 I'm enjoying watching these assholes uh, bite each other's knees, but <laughs> good lord, um, 
It's like, I gave you a performance bill, so you'd let me put my performance bill on there so I could have something to run on that's never going to fucking pass. And then you go and pass something that's going to pass with the, while I vote against it because I missed it. Or whatever. Oh, God. I just, I'm so, oh, I'm so enjoying just the stupid, just the volume of stupid on their side. It is so. The useless is tits on a bull. Oh, God, it's so good. So. Uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this, I gotta say. 